Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is Journey to Beraka, part 4. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets so shall ye prosper. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. In the journey to Berakah, there was the need to believe in the prophet of God. God has always used this prophet in times of crisis. His prophets are his mouthpiece, and he speaks to his people through his prophets. Sometimes words of encouragement, at other times words of rebuke, and warning. Most times the kings do not like the words of warning and rebuke, but this time it was that of encouragement. Because they had confessed their sins and because they were totally depending on God, God put his spirit in a prophet. Not a very well-known prophet, but a prophet regardless. And the success of the warfare on the part of the people of God belong or depend on whether they were going to believe the prophets, the mouthpiece of God or not. Let us read from Second Chronicles and see how this was manifested. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verses 14 to 17. Quote, Then upon Jahaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Beniah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hearken ye, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou, King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. Tomorrow go ye down against them, behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed, Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. End of quote. Now, I, I want to tell you that Jehoshaphat is not that kind of person that just believes any prophet. If you remember when he was to go to war, when Ahab told him to come and go to war with him, they brought about 400 prophets to prophesy. These 400 prophets were saying, Oh, you can go to Ramoth Gilead and you will win the battle. Jehoshaphat was not impressed, even when those prophets were 400 in number. And so he told Ahab, he said, Is there not a prophet of the Lord here? So what we are trying to say is that this does not mean that you believe every prophet, every prophet that you see that comes to prophesy to you. In the Bible, there there are clues to identifying a true prophet. If you look at those clues, number one, the fruit in the life of the prophet. Is he bearing fruit unto righteousness? Number two, does he receive visions from God with loss of strength, eyes open, this physical phenomena that God has given as signs that this is a true prophet? Number three, is his message always aligning with the prophets who have gone before? If a prophet has said all oh, the commandments of God should be kept and then a new prophet arises and said, no, we cannot keep all of the commandments for one reason or the other, then that's a false prophet. You know, and on and on. The point is that 
We need to believe in the prophets, but we cannot believe in every prophet. Jesus himself said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, quote, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. End of quote. The fact that there are false prophets doesn't mean that we will not believe in the true prophets. If you want to begin to believe in true prophets, you start with studying the Bible. And with that, you'll be able to discern between true prophets and false prophets. For example, if a prophet says that you need to give him money before he prays, you need to, you know, sow some seed for the prayer, you should know that you are dealing with a false prophet. Because Jesus clearly said that when he gives his prophets, his men of God, the gifts to bless the world, he said he gave them freely and freely they should give. So you should know from the word of God whether you are dealing with a true prophet or a false prophet. But as you read the word of God, the words of the prophets in the Bible are still living. It has nothing to do with whether the prophets are dead or not. So you can garner insights from the Bible and know what you ought to do. And so Jehoshaphat said, believe in the prophets. And if we believe in the prophets of God as recorded in the Bible, and if there is any dead prophet or living prophet that passes the test of a prophet in the Bible, then you need to listen to that prophet. Because the way to Beraka, we cannot do without the ministry of a prophet. For by a prophet, the Bible tells us that Israel was delivered from Egypt. And by a prophet, Israel was preserved. God wants you to believe in his word and in his true prophets. Let us pray that God will guide our hearts. And that even in moments of crisis, when confusing voices begin to come around, we should be able to know the one that is true. We should be able to know the voice of the true prophet Jahaziel, the voice of the true prophet Micaiah, the voice of the true prophet Isaiah. And we should be able to also discern the voice of the 400 false prophets and follow the truth. Let us pray. Father, we give you glory. We know that on the way to Beraka, on the way to victory, on the way to Lord, to gathering of spoils, on the way to seeing the defeat of the enemy, we need to listen to the voice of the prophets. And that is the way to be established, the way to prosper. And so we pray today that you will give us discernment. As we study your word, you will help us. We will not just jump after any other prophet. The prophets of Ahab who told him to go to Ramoth Gilead deceived him because he died in that battle. We don't want to listen to false prophets who come to us in sheep clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. So help us today and bless us. Guide us and take all the glory today. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for promising us the Beraka experience in Jesus' name. Amen.